So to start with, I wanted to show some of the features on this front face. So we have two main options for concentricity alignment um, with the product. Um, so we firstly have dowels, dowel holes within the motor, um, which can be used to maintain concentricity, um, as well as a spigot feature, which we've newly introduced in this product. So this diameter that sits within these raised castellated regions uh, can be used um, for a mating spigot feature, which is a very common feature on, on existing uh, technology such as gearbox and, and flywheel housings. This is shown here with a, with a dummy shaft for marketing purposes, so it doesn't show uh, the female spline, but effectively within this uh, circular feature here is where the uh, female spline would be sitting. Um, we have a fully bolted um, and sealed cooling system, um, which is accessed via the hose tails, which I'll show in a second. Um, and the features here would be used within the stacking um, if we were to deliver a stack technology. So multiple, how, multiple of these motors can be bolted together by Turntide as part of our build configuration and provided as a package solution. So if we come around to this side here, um, you can see up close the top box. So this is shown with the gland configuration um, using standard glands. Um, we're also going to have the option for the Amphenol power lock, um, which will be available at certain uh, turn and voltage uh, classes. Um, there's a fully sealed top box, which as a customer you won't need to access. So when we're providing this with the glands, we'll be providing cable as well specified to the customer requirement. Down here, we can see um, a threaded mounting point, which can be used uh, during assembly uh, for lifting. So I've just shown some examples of some lifting eyes here. So they can be bolted in on either side. Um, and then when in application, they could, this can also be used uh, for grounding. So we have this marked as a grounding point as per CE requirements. If we come around the back, you can see that uh, it effectively looks nearly symmetrical. Um, so again, that means that um, it can be used in a through shaft application. So you can access the spline from both sides. So you can have a shaft coming into this side as well as the other side. Um, <clears throat> if you want to deliver power from both sides or if, if you're using the series hybrid application. What this also enables is um, when you look um, kind of bigger picture here and you have the coolant ports on one side and this gland configuration on the outside, if you just zoom out just a, a slight touch, um, that effectively as part of our build configuration, we also uh, offer the option to be able to configure this in both directions. Um, so if as a customer you want to have the coolant ports and the high voltage connections on the opposite side, like this, uh, we can offer that. If also these want, you want these to be aligned, uh, we can do that as part of the DIL configuration. And then if we come around to the final view, You can see the identical mounting and ground point on this far side, um, which again can be used for ease of integration using the lift and eyes, and then also for earthing in the vehicle. Um, and for demonstration here, I fitted just some fairly standard uh, stainless steel um, hose tails. As standard, we ship this uh, without any fittings. Um, so it's a BSP thread. So that gives um, versatility and flexibility um, for the OEM integration. At the top here, we can see the TE low voltage connector which is used for providing the signals um, from the PT100s that are embedded within the, in the windings for monitoring temperature, as well as for the resolver signals. Um, we also have the option um, for a bearing temperature sensor, um, which can be fitted as, as an optional part. Um, generally, you can see as well that all of the components, the major components, so the two main housings, the seal plates, the top box and the lid, uh, all cast aluminium. Um, so what this ensures is a rugged construction and that by itself, um, this motor is durable. It doesn't require any major adaptation or additional framework by the customer to be able to integrate this and ensure a robust product. Um, and also that effectively the customer can mount from both sides with bell housings or otherwise. So this can form part of a continuous structure. 